This is a Fourier transform calculator in Excel. It has five charts. The first chart contains uh, the input function in the time domain, the chart of the input function in the time domain. The second chart contains the magnitude of a Fourier transform. The third chart contains the phase of the Fourier transform. And the last two charts contain the real and imaginary parts of the Fourier transform with respect to frequency. As input uh, values, input parameters, we can set up the start frequency, the stop frequency, the number of frequency points on over which we need the Fourier transform to be calculated, the index, but this is not an input uh, parameter, this is just um, the, an integer which will be incremented by the macro as while it's calculating the Fourier transform for various frequencies. So the index uh, will be a number running between 0 to the maximum number of points, which in this case is 500. And also input parameter is delta t, the time step of the simulation. Let's select function uh, 1 um, and uh, run, uh, run the model, calculate the Fourier transform. So since we have here a sum of three sinusoidals, of different frequencies and amplitude, we will see a limited and symmetrical spectrum, symmetrical with respect to zero. Uh, it seems that the frequencies of the three components here are 0 0.9, 1 1.2 and 1.5 Hertz. So that, that's what we got, we got what we expected, is a symmetrical spectrum, finite, made out of six sticks. If we look to the right, these are the real and imaginary calculated value for the Fourier transform over 500 points between minus uh, 2.5 and 2.5 Hertz. As input functions, we have six options. Uh, option number one is what we did. Option one, number two is just a plain periodical rectangular function. Number three is a mixture of is a sum of three periodic uh, rectangular functions of various frequencies and amplitudes. Number four, five, six are blank. They can be filled by the user, I mean by you. Here are the functions in the spreadsheet on columns N, O, P, Q, R, S. Q, R, S are blank. Let's uh, run the, the calculation for number function number two. Let's reset it and then calculate. And uh, we can see uh, the components here. It's supposed to be symmetrical again, spectrum. And uh, we see that it is. We have odd harmonics. So the fundamental here is 0 0.3 hertz. Then we have harmonic number 5, so 5 times, I'm sorry, 3, so 3 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.9, 5 times 0 0.3 is equal to 0, uh, 1.5, and 7 times 0 0.3 is equal to 2.1. So we got what we expected to get, and function number 3 is a mixture of these. Let's reset and calculate it, mixture of these uh, periodic uh, rectangular functions. So we, we're supposed to get a bunch of sticks, again, odd harmonics and the fundamental. But uh, one thing for sure, we're supposed to get the symmetrical spectrum, which we already see that we get. Let's wait till this is uh, finished. And um, now it is, so it's perfectly symmetrical. Again, you can uh, change the number of points here don't go more than 2,000 points and um, come over on the site you can download this model and other models at uh, excelunusual.com you can leave a comment and definitely come back again since uh, I'm planning to post a lot of models in the next uh, in the future thank you for your attention